Hello there, Derp again. Uh, I think this is gonna be my final update on this build because I don't think there's any more meaningful upgrades I can make for this build. So yeah, I finally, like I said last time, you can spam Essence of Insanity on a Shaper Base Glove until you land uh, at more at, until you land the uh, Live and the Blind mod. Uh, because the more attack and car speed mod is guaranteed with Essence of Insanity, so if you land that, uh, you want to seek for uh, open prefix. That's the the most important thing because you need the damage conversion. Um, you can use the add prefix, uh, remove suffix, add suffix, remove prefix, uh, that kind of beast craft to help you achieve that. But once you got that. Uh, you're gonna have a gloves that you can socket your lip slam in to increase your uh, clear speed by a lot. And I landed on this one without the dexterity. And then I crafted the, the conversion to fire and then try to exhaust slam the dex. Because if I land a resistant mod, then it just solved everything of my problem basically but I did not land it I only got my dexterity so I need to get more resistance from other places so I swapped my amulet and my boots for the resistance um, and then I after I I think I killed I don't know 30 to 40 conquerors I'm not sure I didn't count but uh I only got two Redeemer uh, Exotal off, which is the cheapest one. But uh, yeah, and then I finally, finally got a Hunter Exotal off drop. So I tried to slam the belt, hoping for the percent life mod. And I failed. I got a flash charge when you deal a critical strike. This seems like a good mod, but uh, I'm gonna tell you it is not. It is not a, w a really good mod, just like the elusive mod. Everything, everyone wants the elusive mod, but it it's actually sucks. I'm gonna tell you why. That's because it has a 0 0.2 seconds cooldown, so you can only get 5 charge maximum per second. And it is distributed randomly amongst the flasks that is not full. So basically, if you use 3 to 4 flasks, you get per second you get 5 charge so basically if every second each flask get on average 1 charge 1 or 2 charges so you need like what 20 30 seconds to even refill your charge given that you are non-stop critting the enemy which you know doesn't happen so I mean it it's better than nothing, but this mod is not as good as people think. It really doesn't fill up your flask that quickly, so... But uh, again, it's better than nothing, and... Uh, also, one more thing to remind you is that... If you conquer a sort of slam on your stuff, it actually removes your uh, quality from the catalyst. This used to be 20 quality when I first bought it but it was gone when I slammed it but uh, yeah I got a not so useful but also not useless mod so whatever and then I go try to kill Uber Elder I break the first set because I'm, I suck at the fight and they are way more tanky now so I break one set, which is like 6 exhaust, because that's like 150 chaos per fragment right now. Uh, luckily I kill him with 4 portals in the second set, and I got a Elder Astral Plate and a, the Creeper, which sold for a total of 8 exhaust, I think. So I bought another Hunter exhaust a lot. And finally, after two fail slam, I finally land the mod I want, which is a Tywin mod. So, yeah, right now my clear speed is decently good now. 
because of the more attack and car speed and together with the tie win so yeah my my clear speed is actually improving a lot right now uh, in terms of damage I don't think it's that much more damage compared to my last update because the main thing is from the timeless jewel that's basically 20% more 20% chance to deal double damage and uh, plus 2 AoE gem I bought last time so this is like 16 spell damage yeah and then this is Tywin so other than that I don't think yeah I, I got some spell damage on the amulet here so that's better than nothing so that's like 30% more damage 30% increased damage so that's not really affecting my damage by a lot but uh, I guess more attack speeds from Tywin means more procs too so I guess that's a slight upgrade but uh, again, I don't think there's any more meaningful upgrade anymore because uh, most of my attacks speed come from the glove. So, but I will still try to save up for the trash to treasure prophecy for my crown of eyes for this because mm, faster lip slam is always better. So, other than that, I don't think there's any more stuff. I can meaningfully upgrade the character, maybe if you can find a perfect roll, Law Reef, perfect roll, Carcass Jack with the plus 2 AoE gem, maybe you can get more damage, but uh, I don't think that's gonna matter that much. So anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna leave you with my first Cyrus kill after like I don't know, 6-7 attempts, I don't know how many attempts was there. The thing is that I, I don't want to just look for a guy and then follow in one step, step one, step two, step three, step four. I kind of want to learn a little bit on my own, but uh, the thing is that you don't really get to learn the fight. If you die, you get fucked by the storms, or you get off screen by his lasers, so... That's like two portals to learn the fight and then four portals you just die to random bullshit or the degen ground that that's impossible to see. So yeah, that's what I don't like. I don't mind learning the fight. I mean I break a lot of sets learning the Uber the fight before. But uh I don't mind it. Because I actually fight them. <laughs> so yeah, I was happy they nerfed the storms, but yeah, I also wouldn't mind if they buff Sirius. Just don't use the storm as a difficulty, so-called difficulty for the player, because it is not. The storm is just an unfun mechanic. I don't mind they buff Sirius, him Sirius himself. I don't mind it. But uh, yeah, the storms are just... yeah. Well anyway, yeah, I don't think there's any more... I need anything more that's important for this. Uh, I think the only upgrade I can do now is just make this into a talisman. Uh, get another siphoning charge from the trash to treasure thing so I guess that's it for the updates but uh, I will still put out more videos for of me fighting other endgame contents with this build so anyway thank you for joining and I'm gonna see you next time goodbye alright I don't know how much how many attempts this is but uh six I think it's safe at ten or something. I think. Did you really think this would work? So yeah. Please, we want to help you. Don't do anything hasty. Destroying you is mm. as easy as flicking a pest. No. Shut up. Since when that his attack doesn't penetrate? You know, doesn't pierce. Since when does his attack not penetrate? I mean, the the thing is that this is after the nerf, though. This is after they nerfed the storm, though. 
but the thing is that I I I want I really want to learn the fight, but every time I die, the storms are just going crazy, and you know, because there's like when you enter the arena, there's like an upper path and a lower path you can take, but if you if you summon Cyrus at a bad position, it's gonna push up the storm. And then the upper path will be blocked, and then you only have the lower path. And if you have an unfortunate storm at the lower part, then you have no way to get back to him. That's the thing. <coughs> also, the golems, the golems dies. So my golems also dies. Yeah, my golems dies, so... <clears throat> I don't really know where you should be going now, because apparently the storm doesn't chase you anymore. As far as I know. Where is Cyrus? <coughs> okay. Yeah. In their projections, they became reliant on you. They're not so foolish. Oh fuck! I was outside, and then the auto pathing. I was outside and then the auto pathing walks right back in. I was outside. I was I was outside the wall. And then the auto pathing paths me right back in there. Ah. Oh. Yeah, now the... Okay, okay, they move, they move. What?! I... I, I just... I, I don't even... I, I don't even... <laughs> I I don't know. Every death is like this. Every death is like this. As soon as you die, you that happens. What the fuck? Like come on, can I get back to you? This is the annoying thing of this fight. You can't get back to him. <sighs> when you die, you don't get back to him. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna... What? Oh, his fucking thing is also blocking. Me. Oh fuck! <coughs> is the storm gonna come to me? The thing is that they off he off screen you. Okay.
Okay. You basically wait until the storm fucks off or something, I think. And then you jump back in. Okay. Is he outside of the storm now? I guess so. Yeah, I, I guess so. Where is he? Oh, he's in the middle there. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! I want to get back to <laughs> Oh, come on! I just want to get back to him, man. Oh, fuck. I Yeah, I should just tank the laser. I should just tank the laser. I I should just tank the laser. I'm too scared of the laser when the laser doesn't do a lot of damage if you have corrupted blood immunity. I I should just I should not be that scared of the of the laser. Ooh. Ooh. The thing is that I I really want to learn the fight. Oh. I don't trust her though. I I must say I don't trust her though. <laughs> I don't really trust Sana anymore, so... You can't even talk to him. I mean, again... The thing is that... You can't get back to him. He off-screen you or something. I guess you just... You just Quicksilver and full... Full... And run at him full speed. I want to save my f Quicksilver for maybe the Meteor... Or something, but... Apparently the better better idea is just to run back at him and again I, I really want to learn the fight but I don't really get the chance to learn the fight because every time I die I just can't get back to him so that's like I don't know that's maybe three four portals in total well maybe not that little but uh, maybe that's like two portals I actually spend learning the fight the other four portal is just me getting off screen by him or getting fucked by the storm. 
so I can't learn the fight. And I don't want to do the, you know, step-by-step -step guide that people put out on the YouTube, like, oh, you just follow exactly what I do. I mean, I don't mind watching people fight him, but I kind of want to learn it myself too, so... But there's like two portals I can learn every time I spawn him. Every time is like, I got two portals and then... I got two portals to learn and then the other four portals is just me dying before I even get back to him, so... Yeah, that's that. Well, anyway, we at least got him. We got the Awakener Orb, though. Oh, right, also awaken Elemental Damage. How much is that again? Uh, Awakener. <coughs> Awakener Orb... It's only 190? It's only 190? Uh, how about... Elemental damage... 290... Alright, alright... Ivory Washstone... Territories Unknown... Territories unknown. 10 C. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Well, I guess we finally beat him, so whatever. Yeah, I. I get better now, so. At least.